good morning today i want to discuss about the power of arrest the constitution has given a fundamental right that if any person is arrested he may have his own choice of advocate that is number one primary thing number second thing that he should not be subjected to give evidence against himself then detention order protections are given then post pack loss that means uh, at the time of uh, occurrence uh, on the date of occurrence if there was no law to punish him he should not be punished retrospective effect of the said act then question of double jeopardy a person should not be punished and twice for the same offense these protections are there uh, under constitution apart from that uh, criminal procedure code then comes to confer power for arrest that uh, commences from definition clause wherein cognizable offense was discussed uh, the instead of discussing cognizable offenses the section 2 l says non cognizable offenses an offense for which non cognizable means a case in which police has no authority to arrest without warrant so cognizable offenses means person may be arrested without warrant so where do where to get this cognizable offense particulars you have to go to schedule of crpc there were two schedules that schedule describes the punishment classes of offenses indian penal code contains definition class and punishment class says this schedule of crpc contains punishment classes offenses whether cognizable or non cognizable bailable or non bailable triable by which court so far ipcs are concerned that uh, then the next schedule says uh, if the offenses are other than the ipc the year of punishment uh, will be calculated for cognizable non cognizable and the triable by sessions court or which court this is cognizant then question arises you have to understand house station officer who is house station officer everywhere the ipc contains that word officer in charge of the police station or house station officer why that word is there? because we are living in cities our uh, urban areas we may not know that there are certain police station which contains only one constable so so far that police station is concerned is our station officer this is most important then they say <clears throat> number 1 everybody should be given to understand uh, even uh, while giving ad, ad that public meant to assist the police officer if a police officer is uh, uh, preventing any accuse or chasing any accuse suppression of breach of trust prevention of any injury attempt to committed by any railway canal telegraph or public property so for all these things uh, uh, is public to assist the police then uh, even if the officer other than the police officer is arresting or executing warrant public must assist him then public duty of the public was to give information of certain offenses 121 to 126 waging war against 143 unlawful assembly one connected one up to 148 161 and 165a 
legal gratification 272 to 278 food adulteration drug adulteration 302 303 304 364 a ransom kidnapping for ransom 382 uh, to commit theft preparation for committing murder 392-393 robbery decaity 409 criminal breach of trust by the public servant 431 to 439 mischief against the property 449 450 criminal trespass 456 to 460 lurking house trespass or lurking house trespass means uh, secretly hiding inside by secretly entering the premises then 49088 to 49080 that is offenses against the currency minting then uh, village administrative officers were guidelined at the section 40 this is most important then question of arrest when police officer may arrest this is most a police officer of may arrest without an order from magistrate, without any person who commits presence of police officer, cognizable offence. And uh, against whom complaint and critical information is received or reasonable suspicion say, exists that he has committed cognizable offence. These all are, uh, the, the, the police officer must satisfy that uh, arrest is necessary. So for that, uh, several multi-number of guidelines given, including Arnesh Kumar case. Then Section 41A was amended. Even before arrest, the police officer can issue notice. Then uh, if he is cooperating, his arrest may be prevented. Then uh, duties of arrest, all those things are there. Now question arises. If even if an uncontrollable happens, if a person refused to give name and residence, Section 42 says he may be arrested. Then Section 43, arrest by private, private person and uh, without delay he has to inform the court. That is procedure 43. Section 44 says landed magistrate can also arrest only under that section 44 1 or 44 2. We used to surrender the accused, including while surrendering the accused for anticipated bail. Then section 45 says protection from arresting armed persons. These things are very necessary. Then question of uh, privileges, uh, rights and duties of a person arrested. How to arrest means he can be just prevented or informed that he is under arrest or by touching him you may inform that he is under arrest. And thereafter, so many formalities are there, including 167. So for all those things, you must understand how arrest is uh, warranted, how arrest is compulsory, how arrest is necessary, and what way after arrest the police officer should act upon. So the word police officer is subject to Varies. In, in charge of the police station, even he can authorize any subordinate officials by issuing warrant to arrest any person. These things you may kindly note down. From very beginning of the constitutions, you have to, or from Article 21, you should uh, aware that the rights of citizen from uh, uh, arrest right of a citizen who is being arrested and what all are the categories of offences uh, which is scheduled as cognizable offences and uh, only you can have some reasonable suspicion or that cognizable offence being committed in front of police officer. So many right for police officers are there to arrest the accused. So once the accused is arrested and the other formalities are there. So first of all, once the cognizable offences existence is stated, so it is duty cast upon the police officer to register an FIR uh, 
even before arrest or after arrest. If it is happens is committed in presence of the officer, you want to prevent him to commit the offence, then you arrest him and file an appeal. This is the way today we discuss about uh, arresting the accused. Mr. Vices.